three minutes before the halftime break. But then Tux hit the ground running in the second half and Peño Mangala outsmarted Jimmy Tao, whether it was through his skill or pace or whether it was the whistle that Jimmy Tao must have heard. But the game carried on anyway and Tux were level at 2-2 after 63 minutes of play. The Kaiser Chiefs defense was at sixes and sevens again. This time it was the trusty Tumilen Kune who made an absolute hash out of things and went out when he should have just stayed on the line. He got chipped by Tabo Buleko, 3-2 to Pretoria University with 70 minutes gone in the game. But the drama didn't end there as Kaiser Jr. was adjudged to have been brought down in the penalty area. Spiro Chabalala stepping up to the plate, making no mistake and leveling the scores with 8 minutes to play. Tux would have to face the rest of the game with just 10 men on the field after their captain Obert Moyer was shown his second yellow card for protesting against the referee. But it seemed to do a world of good for the professors from Pretoria as Jimmy Tao again made a blunder and Itumilen Kuno was again beaten at the near post, Pendo Mangalo getting his second goal of the game and Pretoria University's fourth. The professors from Pretoria held on to go to the last eight of the Nedbank Cup.